Back in November, I was one of the lucky few to get Tesla's full self-driving beta software on my Model 3. And it's been amazing watching a vehicle navigate local roads and city streets all on its own is pretty amazing and the first time I've ever experienced something like that. Since November, it's seen many updates and has constantly gotten better. Now on the horizon, everyone is waiting for the expanded rollout of FSD beta. Today, that group is still small and is still testing the software. Now that software is utilizing all of Tesla's hardware in the vehicle. It's using the eight cameras that are present in the vehicle. It's using the radar that's present in the vehicle and it's using the sensors that are present on the vehicle. But most recently, Elon suggested that Tesla could accomplish full self-driving without radar. Now radar is being used to see the cars ahead of you and the cars ahead of those to better get ahead of making a maneuver should it need to if a car slams on its brakes two cars ahead of you. Now, since the dawn of time as humans, as we drive, we've only really leveraged our two eyes and that's all we've typically had. It wasn't until recently that cars started to get cameras and sensors. So we've been able to drive for a long time with two eyes. Why shouldn't we be able to drive with technically eight eyes, all eight cameras that Teslas have? And that's Elon's argument is that from the eight cameras, it should be enough data and information for the car to be able to navigate and make decisions based on what it sees. And of course, the software needs to be programmed on understanding what it sees and what decisions that it makes based on what it sees. And so that's where we see the software getting better. Now there's been a huge gap since the last software update till now because Tesla is fundamentally removing radar, the use of radar in its software. Of course the hardware will stay in the vehicle, but on the next major release, version 11, FSD beta will not be using radar anymore. And I think it's okay. Eight eyes are much better than two. And as long as Tesla's engineering team programs it correctly, it should be able to see, interpret, and make educated decisions. Now, over the last couple months since getting FSD beta, I've seen a lot of things get better. The software in general is very impressive, watching it make left turns and right turns all on its own, the ability for it to stop at stoplights and stop signs, the way it's mindful for pedestrians and bicyclists is amazing. And while it has a lot of things good, there's still a lot more to be learned and perfected. And while there's a lot more that I would like to see it get better at, here are some few examples that I'd like to see it perfect in V11. One of those is the confidence in the vehicle. Now Tesla's of course programming these vehicles to be cautious. It's our lives that are at risk, right? And of course, it has to prioritize safety over anything else. And because of that, it tends to be more cautious when making decisions. For example, cross traffic, it waits for a very good gap on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side before making its maneuver. And sometimes that can take a while, and sometimes that can not come at all, because as you wait for the left side to clear, the right side goes clear and vice versa. And so I'd like to see it be a little bit more assertive because in many circumstances, it's a turn that I would have made on my own. Now, that being said, FSD beta has gotten me to reconsider the way that I've typically always drove as being hasty and unsafe. And while FSD beta is a little bit more slower and safer, there's a good medium. And I feel like that's what needs to be accomplished. And I think it can be done with the vision-based system. Number two is on turns. While the vehicle makes amazing left turns and right turns, when it's making a right turn from not a dedicated right turn lane, it doesn't get into the shoulder to make the turn. Uh, the shoulder is dotted, allowing cars to get into the shoulder to make the right turn lane, but 
The Tussle wants to make it from the main lane, which could cause an accident because there are cars now to the right of me that are making the same right turn that my vehicle is trying to make. This has been present in the software for a while now, so I hope with V11 that that also is something that's addressed. There's also a road by my house where, where the road and the bike lane is separated is between a solid line and then a dotted line. The Tesla seems to get a little confused by this and does a little bit of a weaving pattern. It's not crazy, but it's definitely apparent that it doesn't really understand it. And so I hopefully that that's something that it understands going forward. It still is very mindful of bicyclists and is aware of them and pedestrians and definitely stops giving them space and so forth. So better to understand the road markings and how to interpret them. Uh, I would definitely like to see, and I probably can expect it to be present there in the fully vision-based system of V11. The other thing with, of course, it being more confident is also understanding things ahead. If I'm making a left turn and then within a half mile, I'll need to make a right turn, I should be making that left turn from the outermost lane. Thus, after the turn, I'm already on the right-hand side and it's easier to make the following right turn. But what I've noticed is sometimes it takes the inside lane. Now, it's got the most updated maps and the software is pretty intelligent. It should be taking the outside lane. And so that's another thing I'd like to see improved as we look at V11. Now, there are still some little gotchas like U-turns where we've seen a couple of examples where it's made a U-turn, really surprisingly, really out of thin air, but most of the time it doesn't want to make a U-turn and seems to act like it doesn't know how to. Now, these are my personal asks. These are things that I would love to see get better, but driving is, in general, very difficult and involves a lot. It involves brain power. It involves vision, it involves hand-eye coordination. And so there's a lot going on and to replicate that in a computer is not an easy task. It's a task that I fully feel confident in Tesla accomplishing, but there's a lot of gotchas and there's a lot of edge cases to accommodate for and to think about. It's gonna take Tesla a while to be 100% perfect in a situation where you don't have to be in the driver's seat. But I'm excited about this next phase of being in the driver's seat but the car doing 95 to 99% of the driving from point A to point B. It's really exciting to see that next step of the future of driving and transportation. I commend Tesla because what they're doing is not an easy lift and involves a lot of hard work from their engineering teams. And while it's gonna take them a while to get there, they're way ahead than anyone else on the market in gathering data analyzing that data and learning that data to make decisions based on what it sees. With so many Teslas on the road and so much data coming in, Tesla's way ahead. Tesla is at a superb advantage over any other manufacturer. And I feel if anyone's gonna win this full self-driving race, it's gonna be Tesla. I know I'm super excited to see the future of full self-driving and all the manufacturers get there. Let me know what you think down in the comments. What are you excited to see on V11? And what do you wanna see me test when I get V11? If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. See ya.